Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me again, Mark, and in today's video, we will be reviewing the Artex 72, 72 Colors Colored Pencils. I've had this set for a while now, and I've been using them a lot in my art. And today, I thought that it would be nice to make a review of them, what I think about them. Um, so far, I've been having a good experience with these colored pencils. I really like how they uh, perform. I really like them art pieces that I made with them. So yeah, I'm going to show you some of my uh, ideas, some of my thoughts while using these colored pencils. Now, um, let me just say that the pencils are no longer in this box, okay? There are 72 pencils, but yeah, about half of them is inside this box because a lot of the other pencils, um, I actually carry them on my bag right here. Because I'm traveling a lot, so I don't actually store them in the original box. Now, this pouch is not the most ideal way to store the colored pencils. You can see here, um, they're inside here. Okay, not the most ideal way because sometimes I struggle to find the color that I want. So, you might actually find a different solution how you can carry them because I really struggle with choosing the colors in this one. But if you are just drawing at home and you're not going to be drawing anywhere you can use like an old glass like this one and you can store them in a jar or in a glass like that so that you can find the colors much more easily because that will be easier with the box they're they're not also particularly good for storage because once you like remove a pencil okay the others will slide in its place it's not a really fixed um container for the pencils so I would not recommend that you use the box entirely or maybe that's something that you want but for me personally like I don't wanna store them there so yeah I'm just storing them in this bag for now because I'm also traveling a lot so I'm using them while I'm traveling I wanted to have a lot of them on my travels okay because I find that I want to use like a particular shade whenever I'm drawing with the pencil. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick them up from this container. Now let me also just say that I'm not using the pencils on their own when I'm making artworks. I usually pair them with a watercolor. I have my Holbein watercolors here. This is a pack of watercolors that are poured into pans. I bought them from Shopee. You can buy them like this or you can buy tubes and you can pour them yourself. So yeah, I'm using watercolors because a lot of times when I'm covering a lot of space, the pencils will be very difficult to do with that or to cover a lot of space because you will be like uh, scribbling a lot, okay, and it will take a lot of time. So I'm using watercolors just to cover the main um, colors or the main base colors that are the largest in the artwork that I'm going to be making. And then I use the pencils to add more details to that. Now you can also use the pencils just as they are when you are making artworks. Yeah, but um, it will be it will take a lot of time if you want to cover a lot of space. And if you're going to be traveling and if you don't have a lot of time and you want to cover a lot, I would recommend just the uh, watercolors first base and then you add the pencils later on. Now I will, I will show you some of my art pieces that I made with this pairing with the watercolor and the pencil. But let me just make that clear so that uh, you won't expect me to make a full artwork right now using just the pencils because I don't do that. Now, uh, still, I know some techniques on how to use the um, color pencils and I will share with them with you while I am uh, sharing uh, the ideas, the thoughts I have on these pencils. Let me just um, do a much more closer uh, video. Okay, so now um, we're, more, we're much more closer. Okay, and let me just show an example of how the color performs when you apply it on paper. This is a watercolor pa paper that I have lying around. Okay, so you can see here that when I apply the pencil like very lightly, it will really produce a lot of color very quickly. Okay, and once you start pressing harder, you can get much more stronger color. And what I like about the Artex colored pencils is that they are very, very pigmented, okay? The application of the colors are really smooth, and yeah, that's how other artists like describe them. They are very waxy, okay? And they apply very easily, very readily onto the paper. So yeah, you don't need to like make a lot of strokes to make an impact on the paper. 
because just a little bit will really apply the color very easily, very quickly on the paper. And I'm saying this because I've tried other pencils as well. Um, watercolor pencils, like the last um, art supply that I reviewed, the Faber-Castell watercolor pencils, they don't apply color like this one because those are not particularly like colored pencils as is. They are supposed to be used with water. But with this one, you don't need to water them to produce like really, really good saturation, really good colors, okay? And also, what I like about the Artex colored pencils is the range of colors that they are in, okay? So you can really make some good artworks because of the range of colors that are available to you. They're not just like primary colors. They have some subtle colors like colors in between. For example, if you are making a, like a light yellow, you have a light yellow like this one. Okay, and you have a saturated color like this one, but you also have some subtle colors like this one. This is, a, I think, a pink. Okay, so something that you won't find in any any other like coloring sets, and some other coloring materials are very very vibrant, very saturated, and that is probably like not good if you're gonna be making some much more natural looking um, art pieces. Because some colors are really vibrant, but on this one, some colors here are really natural looking, okay? So, for example, if you're looking like uh, into a subtle, I'm making a mess right now. If you are looking for a subtle brown like this one, this is a dark brown, okay? So, you can also, you can have a dark brown like that, but you can also have like a light umber like this one, okay? Which is a different shade of brown, okay? And you can see that it's very different when you apply it. So I find this really convenient if you are going to be making an art piece of different shades of brown. Okay, you don't have to use the single brown for all of the for all of the coloring. You can have a different lighter brown, okay? And you can cover a lot more with that. Okay. So yeah, that is one thing that I liked about this one. They also have some artists like online um they are particular about this because another like brand discontinued their color which is the lavender and the lilac okay and i find that i really like these colors as well the lavender and the li lilac um the lavender is kind of like a bluish purplish uh color uh, and the same with the lilac i think the lilac is much more um saturated like but these two colors are not that available in other like art supplies so yeah, that's what I liked about this one. And overall, I would say that um, I really like the palette on this uh, art text. I was looking for like a color palette online because I was thinking of buying pencils for a long time and I wanted to go um, professional with my colored pencils. So I looked up a good selection of colors that would be good for making botanical art because that's what I've been doing. And I find that the shades that are on the highly recommended um, set by the website that I have found, the shades that they recommend is not available in any other coloring set. But they are almost all available in the Artex um, colored pencil set. So yeah. The colors on this one, I would really recommend because they have a good range. Now, I don't have any thoughts on their larger set because they have released a larger set. Yeah, but the 72 colors is really enough for me. Now, before we go on to my art piece, let me just um, share with you some more tips on using uh, the color pencils. Um, as you can see that I made some values here, okay? So, that's how you can use your color pencils if you want to make like a light color. You just apply them very lightly, okay? Um, I would also recommend so that you won't make streaks, you don't produce streaks. You apply your pencil very lightly and you hold it from the end of the pencil. You don't hold it right here, okay, because that's how we usually draw. But if you're gonna be making like a lighter color or a lighter value, hold it from the back right there. Okay, and then you can apply it and you will not produce any streakiness, okay. And you will really cover the paper and I really, uh, this is really good if you want to make or if you want to cover a large space but you don't want to see any streakiness and if you're going for something like more realistic or more evenly colored then I would recommend this technique you hold it at the edge right there okay um, 
because if you hold it too close, the tendency you will be like making really hard strokes on the paper. Okay, so yeah, that is the first thing. And then what you can do with this color is you can layer it. Okay, for example, you want to layer it with a little bit of pale vermilion. This is good if you are going to be mixing colors on the paper. Um, you can layer them and you will produce new colors. With the first base layer that you applied and then the second layer, you will change the color a little bit. And you will be able to produce a new color that is not available in your uh, colored pencils. So for example, you are going to be making like a green. You can apply blue and yellow together and you will produce a green. Okay. So I have here a true blue and I have here a cream color. With color pencils, that's how you produce new colors. If they are not available to you, you layer them. Now, I would also say that if you are layering colored pencils, there is a limit to how many layers you can do because at some point, if you already applied like a lot of layers, the colors will not be able to be placed on the paper anymore. Like you're, you're not going to be able to place additional color. Like there's a limit to them. I think uh, with the Art Text Color Pencil, I think I read somewhere that you can only apply like up to four layers to them. Yeah, because if you apply um, more than that, it will tend to have like a very glossy surface and it will not, the paper will no longer accept any more pencil. Okay, I think that's just how the pigments um, work with pencil. I think because of the wax that is in them, so there is a limit on how many layers you can apply. So if you want to uh, be accurate, just go with the closest colors um, to your reference, okay? And don't apply too much, okay? Because there's a limit to that. Now, if you want to remove the streakiness and if you want to finalize the color of your pencils, um, I would recommend you um, blend it with the white colored pencils like this one. Okay, so this is a technique that they call burnishing. You scrub your white so that the colors will be more evenly applied on the paper. Okay, now some other um, artists will use some other methods. They will use like a different chemical or um, some other thing to burnish their colors to smoothen them out. But I find that the white is already effective for that, the white colored pencils. Now, the white usually won't be visible if you are using white paper, but for burnishing, it is really good. So you can see here the, the, the effect of the white. Okay, sometimes it will lighten the color a little bit, but other times if you already like finalize the color, um, it will be enough to burnish it with white. You can also burnish with other colors if that's what you want. Okay, if you want to finalize it with like say a vermilion like this one, you can burnish it, but you will be producing like a very dark color. Okay, so if you don't want to produce a dark color, um, use the white as a burnishing. Okay, and also let me just say, you know, I really like how <laughs> this one looks. Okay, let me just say that when you burnish, um, because that is the, usually the final technique that you will be applying on your pencils. When you burnish like this, you will finalize the pencil and you will not be able to apply any more color on top, okay? It will not look good, okay? So sometimes, uh, oftentimes, most of the times, um, you burnish when you are on your final application of color. You don't want to burnish if you're just starting out because it will be very difficult to apply more color on top. Okay, so that is the techniques um, that I would like to share with the color pencils. Now, for usage of them, I would recommend that you study a little bit of color theory. Because with color theory, you will be able to understand how the colors like relate to each other and how you can use them on their best. Okay. Because um, you will still have to study a little bit of that. Now, I will be making some videos on color theory. You can watch my other videos. Yeah, but yeah, I would recommend that you just study it um, when you are going to be using your colored pencils. Because colors have their own relationships. And 
if you want to produce like really vibrant colors, uh, really vibrant artworks, I really recommend that you study color theory. Okay, now, having said that, let me just show you an example of some of the art pieces that I've made with the colored pencils. So this is my art book of my most recent art pieces that I made and most of them is made with watercolors and pencil combined, okay? So yeah, let me just show you. For this one, um, I went with my new style, which is laying with watercolors and then pencil afterwards. And yeah, I really liked how this turned out. So for this one, I used probably like a red color. And you can see that it doesn't have a lot of contrast, okay? That was a little bit intentional in the beginning, but now looking back, I would recommend, uh, I would have added a lot more contrast to that because it looks too light, okay? So yeah, in my later artworks, I added a lot more contrast. Yeah, but I was just starting out with this one. So for the pajamas, okay, I think those are pajamas. For the pajamas here, I actually colored them with watercolor with the yellow first, and then I used a blue uh, colored pencil to make the pattern, okay, over the yellow. And because the pencil is really color colorful, really pigmented, it really covered the yellow, so you can see that it has produced a nice pattern look okay so yeah i really like how how i made that and how i achieved that and it's really really fun with this one okay uh with the guy i think i also used a blue uh, color okay i used a blue on the watercolor on the base color and then i used another blue for the shadows and looking back at it i think that the blue is making it too like monotone monochromatic so it means just there's not a lot of uh there's not enough contrast okay so probably later on i will add more um contrast uh, as i've said before but on the pants here because it's black okay we don't have to have a different kind of contrast okay the black colored pencil is enough okay so yeah i really liked how that turned out okay on my other pieces you can see here i also use colored pencils on this one okay i really liked how this one turned out for this one as well, okay, I added a lot more contrast on this one. You can see that the shadows are darker, but it's still very, very colorful. And on this one, I think that I managed to do a semi-realistic or almost realistic coloring on the shirt. Okay, because the values are really, really on point. I really match the photo, the reference photo. So you can see here on this part that it almost looks like really real. And yeah, and I really like how this one turned out. I even added some shadows here on his arm. Okay, yeah. But I don't have much rendering on the face because I don't I don't wanna render a lot anymore because rendering is really really tiring. For this one, I used a combination of watercolor pencil and ink. Okay, so I'm I'm also experimenting. I'm still trying to expand my abilities now. We're gonna be doing this one, okay? So I'm gonna be finishing this art piece, okay? Uh, I really like the reference that I used from Instagram. A lot of artists use these really like collage type of artworks where they add different elements into a single page. So yeah, that's the idea that I have here. So I'm gonna be layering this with pencils so that you can uh, see how I make a final artwork using pencils. So let me just switch the camera, okay, let me just switch the lighting so you can see it much more better.
that we have finished okay look at that really really nice i really really like how this one turned out and i think that the idea of like collaging or adding different like elements into a single page is really really good um what i think that i should probably <laughs> Uh, do later on is not to go too dark because you see that the uh, watercolors that I've, like, I've applied are too dark and yeah I might not uh, go I might go a little lighter later on so that we can still preserve some highlights because you can see here um, there are no more highlights and I think that the ribbons are just blending too much into the can of chocolates there okay yeah but I think that I really really like uh, how it looks finished okay also the sedum should have some more vari variation on that what i did was to just i added a lot of uh, watercolors in the beginning so you can also see probably see on my process that i uh, used the pencils on the hair okay i only used pencils and i think that i made a really cloudy style hair okay and there are some mistakes that i made on the face because i was working a little too far from the paper and I couldn't add the detail on the lips that properly okay but I think that we can edit it in post yeah so yeah for the dress I really liked how it turned out you can see that I used color pencils to add depth to the dress now I would say that for the darker parts okay I use some greens so that's how color theory works because green is the complement of red so using green like adds a lot of depth in the shadow areas so you can see there so yeah that's just one tip um, if you want to learn more about color theory probably I will make a video on that so you can follow um, me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but i think that's about it for this review guys and i will see you on the next one bye